Okay, today we're going to show you how to do a cartoon character head, just the head. And so we, to begin, we start with uh, a circle, and then holding down the control key, we drag our circle across. And as you can see, it's already kind of a skin color, which is this right here. And then what we're going to do is we're going to duplicate this by hitting control D, and we're going to shrink it down. Uh, that size looks good. And we're going to place it right about there. And we're going to duplicate this and move it over here. And then we're going to put a box around this, selecting it all. And we're going to come up to Object and go to Align and Distribute. And then we're simply going to do a Vertical Distribute. And close that now. And as you can see, uh, my head's there. So we're going to group it or pull it together by making it into a single solid object with path and union. So now that we have our, our the basic form of our head, we're going to uh, duplicate this and bring it down. And we're going to draw some hair. And hair is relatively easy. Okay. And what we can do is then we select both of these. They're combined, come up to path. And go intersection and you can see what happens here where our drawn lines for hair were and where our head was then form the basis of the hair so now we can scoop this down and scoop this back and we have the basic shape of of your standard combed head of hair so now we're going to zoom in on this quick Okay. And I'm going to get rid of some of these nodes because they're not really necessary. Okay. There we go. Okay, and there's our hair, and now we're gonna let's uh, let's pull this up just a little bit. Okay, and now we're gonna make an uh, our eye, and let's pull that down, and let's get it to be white. Now we're gonna duplicate this, and while we hold down the control key and the shift key, we're gonna pull this in like this, and what that does is it just uh, resizes it from the center. Turn it blue. Okay. And we need to come up here and we need to make this radial. Okay, but we need to edit this because we want it inverted. Otherwise, it won't really look very well. So we're going to edit this and we're going to second stop. Bring our alpha channel all the way up so the second stop is solid. Go back to our first stop and we want to make this white. So then we come over here like this. So this is what our gradient looks like, and as you can see, there's what it looks like with our eye. Then we can close both of these, and we need to duplicate this one once again, and hold the shift key down again, and then click on black, and there we have a basic eye. This is just a basic cartoon character head. In the next part of this, I'll show you how to actually add some stuff to it uh, so that it looks much more real. Okay, now we're going to need to make an eyebrow. So we just do the make, take a line and make it, and uh, come up to here, and stroke paint. We want this to be brown. That looks good. And then style. Come on, make this a five. And we want to round it. There we go. And we might want to blur this just a little bit. There we go. So there's our uh, eye. And now we're going to select this and group it and uh, duplicate it and flip it. And we want to move it up just a little bit.
Okay, that looks good. And we can actually go align and distribute and click there. Oops. Um, that looks good. Let's change this a little bit yet. Now, looks okay. Okay. And now we're going to make a quick nose and mouth. And to do that, we simply come here. Click here, click here, click here, click here, click here, and click double click there. Okay. So now you have the basics of a nose and or mouth. And so now what we need to do is we just need to come down here and pull these two down. Pull this one down. Pull this one up. Pull this one down just a little bit. Okay, and uh, let's see here, turn that like that, and okay, and let's just fix this hair a little bit. Um, I'm not quite sure why there's so many nodes here. We can get rid of quite a few of these. There we go. Much better on the hair. And uh, that's pretty much it for now. This is just a basic head. On the next part of this, I'll show you how to spice it up a little bit. Okay. Have fun with Inkscape.